This is the story of Sergeant Christopher Anderson, a soldier, infantryman, and amputee. It starts back in 2012 when he deployed to Afghanistan with the 2nd Striker Brigade combat team during one of their many dismounted patrols, except for this patrol changed his life. As soon as I stepped with my, uh, my left leg, I was in the air. I remember it felt like something picked me up in the air, punched me in the chest, and threw me back on the ground, and everything was like slow motion. Sergeant Anderson was immediately medevaced to Launchnell Regional Medical Center in Germany, spending 10 days in an induced coma. When I woke up, I tried to pull the, uh, tried to pull the tube out of my mouth, <laughs> and the nurse stopped me. Then they removed it, and that's when the nurse told me I was an amputee. I mean, I didn't feel bad about it because I knew it was my job. I knew that's what, you know, what came with it. So I knew I, I had accepted my job. I just didn't expect it to happened to me, so. She was pretty shocked that I just said that from waking up out of a coma and getting news like that. The news of losing a leg would make most people feel helpless, but for Sergeant Anderson, he says, it's all about having the right attitude. I kept a strong mind for him. Like, you look, it, it, it makes you look at a life a different, in a different perspective and make you want to achieve more. Sergeant Anderson strives each day to live his life like he's never lost his leg, but sometimes it's hard to deny the reality, and he says that's when you truly need people in your life to lean on. I can try to keep myself motivated as much as I can, but yeah, I felt like giving up a few times, and they just kept me going, you know? Everybody that was in my corner, you know, everybody that helped me, you know? So it was more the support system, man. More along the lines of taking wisdom from people before me and taking wisdom from people that wanted to see me do better. So that's what came. That support helped Sergeant Anderson endure three years of physical rehab at Walter Reed Medical Center with hopes of continuing his service to the Army. I had to meet Sergeant Majors to get the letter of recommendation to stay active duty. And, you know, they always asked me what I can do for them, you know. And I just felt like. I try to keep myself normal. You know, I'm normal. You know, I may be an amputee, but I'm not going to, if, if I, I'm going to try it before I say I can't do it. Sergeant Anderson's determination finally paid off after meeting with the command sergeant major of the 3rd Infantry Regiment. And I, I really thank Sergeant Major Stoker for, you know, taking, taking the, uh, taking me in. Yeah. Um, that's the thing that I miss the most is being part of something, being part of a team, you know. And Sergeant Anderson became part of a new team when he joined the Old Guard, the Army's oldest active infantry regiment and escort to the President. His determination, vigor, and patriotism was seen at this year's Spirit of America as he shared his story of perseverance, resiliency, and camaraderie. Reporting from Joint Base Meyer Henderson Hall, Army Staff Sergeant Jadel Samara.